Hey guys, in this video using UiPath App Studio, we are going to learn how can you design a similar app. This app asks for the resume details, the candidate details and also it gives an option to upload the resume. This resume will be sent to data service entity. And on the left hand side you have a preview window. And this preview window is going to show you the resume that was uploaded by the candidate on the left hand side and it is pulling the data from the data service. So the entire designing how it is done we are going to learn in this video. First of all let's have a quick demo. So I am going to submit this details including the resume and you can see the data got submitted. Once the data got submitted, this uh, window is trying to pull the data from the entity and it has shown the final resume to me. So how this can be designed? Let's learn from the scratch. All right, to design this, couple of things that we need, okay? There is a header where I have written the title. There is a small icon that I have kept. Then on the left hand side, there is a container, okay? If you see, let me go to the new page here i have added a page there are two containers i have used in the first container i have a text box one two three this three text boxes how this is designed is important because whatever the user is going to enter it should be carried over to the data service it should be carried over to the data service now for that what you have to do you have three drag and drop three text boxes provide the labels and now in this text box, go to the events for each of this text box, edit rule. Okay. So here I'm going to show you, I have used a set value and here I have created a application variable. For example, if I click here, I have created this application variable because we'll be collecting name, email, mobile, and his skills that is going to select and his resume. These are the four, one, two, three, four, five things we are collecting in the form. So I have created five variables. Now for each of these text boxes, you have to link it. So here I have the name variable where I'm saying the value should come from how I'm selecting the value. Let me show you. Here is the name application variable, how the value will come equals to, and then I will go to the page where the user will be entering the value. So here is the text box. Okay. This is the name dot value of the text box. So I'm selecting this. So that way, whatever the user enters, in that name dot value text box it is going to show store it in the variable this is the thing we have to do and remember when you drag and drop this text boxes ensure the names you have changed okay so here i've said name uh, the default name you have to change and put proper names okay all right so the same thing you will continue for all the three text boxes the same thing okay you will put for example let me show you this for the email i've created email variable and i'm passing the email dot value to this so this is the technique. Now this is this is a multi-select dropdown. Now for a multi-select dropdown, how to do it? Now for a multi-select dropdown, again, you know, you put a name here. I've given a name called skills, and then in the event, there's nothing else. Okay. Now in the event, what I have done? Now multi-select. You have to show certain skills. For example, UiPath, Vivi.net, Python, C Sharp. You can put as many different things you want, and this is the format. Okay, you put simply type equals to list. Okay, list is a function that is available here. Yeah. So you use this uh, list function. Okay, here it is list function. And after you add that, put to open and close parenthesis. And within double quotes, I'm writing uipathv.net python c sharp like that. You know, I'm putting all the values. Now, let's say the user is selecting something out of this list then that should get stored in a variable. Now you have a confusion what kind of a variable. You don't have to worry about the type of the variable. You have created an app variable called skills and then simply put this skills dot, right? Skill selected value, you just drag and drop it here. So whatever value is get, getting selected by the user would get stored in the skills variable. Simple. Okay, now this three things has been designed. Now let's move on to the next element, which is upload resume, okay? File picker element. So this is a simple file picker element here this one so drag and drop this and in this one i have not actually done anything but you can restrict the different types of files if you want only the pdf files to be uploaded uh, or the word files so like that you can put restrictions but i i have left it as it is 
Now here I have not added any kind of rules. If you see, there is no rules that I have added. Then how, if a user selects a file, how do you transfer it to an entity? Okay, the entity I am going to show you. Before that, let's go to one more button called submit. This is a simple button, submit button. Now here the event how I have created is very important. So let me edit rule. So here what I have done, I have used a rule called create update entity record. What is that create or update entity record? Now let's, this is the time to watch the entity how I have created in the data service. Now here in the data service, if you see, I have created a small entity or a table called resume collector. Now this resume collector, if I click on this, okay and if you look at the fields i have created the exact same fields that we are collecting from the user from the app like name email which is text type mobile which is a number type and then skills which is a text type you know again i'm using a text don't worry because there are multiple select would happen in the skill area i'm still using a text which will hold the data then uploaded resume the type is five okay same columns i have created what we are collecting from the user from the app the similar columns I have created and the types are important okay here the uploaded resume I have selected as five now what I am doing let's go back to the app in the app I am using a rule called create update entity record okay this will come just by click typing you know you type here create update entity record okay this is what I am using then it will ask you hey select the entity name which you would like to update. So here our entity name is resume collector. So if this one is not coming, ensure you have added the entity. So all this I have repeated several times in my videos. But again, this is what you will be doing. Okay, add an entity and select that resume collector entity that you have created. This is already done. Okay, there is nothing to add more. So this is how you will be adding an entity. So once added, you will be able to the moment, for example, if I put equals to symbol under entities, I will be able to see that entity. So add that entity name here, it is automatically going to populate all the columns that is there in the entity. All you have to do, you remember you have created set value, okay? The set value where you are storing the values in the uh, variables, let's say email variable, app variable, okay? So I'm putting all of it. Now for uploaded resume, what I'm doing, for upload resume, I'm simply putting a equals to symbol. And here it gets uploaded in this value, right? Upload resume dot value in the new page. So I'm using this direct. This can also be done on all of this, okay? For all the text boxes, inst instead of using a variable, you can directly also use it. That is also possible. The different technique. So I have added it over here. And then I'm saying when it is created, when the data get up updated, I'm saying data submitted. And here I'm selecting the type as success. Okay, so that's all it is being done. So what this will do, this is going to the moment you hit on submit, the event will get triggered and is going to update the data in the entity. If you see uh, the data, this the data will get updated in the entity. And once it is updated, on the left hand side, I have something called document viewer. You know this control, right? There's a control called document viewer. Okay, document viewer. This control, how it works, so this control has to pull the data from the entity. It is not working from here. It is working from the entity. So if you see, I have used a lookup function and I'm taking the source name, lookup function parenthesis. Then I'm saying uh, the source name, the, so, uh, the entity name, comma in the square bracket, I'm saying the name field, the name field in the entity should be equal to the name entered in this application. So the here the name is entered. So I'm saying the name should be equals to, if it is equal, then you show me the uploaded resume. The uploaded resume is a column from the entity. Okay, so this is the syntax that I have to write. And this syntax is going to pull me the uploaded resume value, which is nothing but different files that we are uploading, right? So this file will get, will be appearing over here. So let's have a small preview. So let me create a test user, let's say 105, okay, this is a test user, let's say. So test user 105 at the rate test.com, I'll put some number here, test123.
okay so feels like it's correct all right then let's enter the mobile number i'm just putting some random numbers okay that's invalid number okay now it is correct now let me select few skills and then let me upload one resume and i'm going to hit on submit okay so data got submitted to the entity the entity that got submitted and now the profile has come now if i go back to the entity just to show you the data so is a huge amount of data uh, that is there in this entity uh, test 10 what was that okay let's scroll down uh test 2 test 1 okay this one okay test user 1005 and this is what the data we have uploaded so it has appeared in the entity and from the entity is showing the data so this is pretty clear through the demo so please do try it out in case you get stuck at anywhere please do comment and i will try to reply to them thank you guys we are going to meet once again in our next content till then take care bye bye